Hey y'all, Yoritza here. I got the Witch Casket box for October yesterday and got home way too late to film it, so I'm super excited to get it opened up today. Um, sorry my face is a little red. I was testing some Halloween makeup and like rubbed my face raw getting all of it off. So that said, let's just get straight to it. Um, this is the view right when I open it. Ooh, smelling some things already. We've got letter and spoiler sheet on top. Let's see, October's Witch Casket is here and there is no hiding the fact that it's Halloween slash Samhain this month. We really hope you love the vibe of this casket. We had so much fun putting it together for you all. Please remember to read the enclosed list of contents, etc. So we've got that here and I'm so excited. All right. Let's see, first we've got a print. Looks like, yeah, tea cake art that always does a piece of art for them. Very appropriate for October and I love it. I love basically all of the prints by this artist that they include, so that's pretty nifty. Looks like we've got another print. Super cute and simple. Um, looks like Illustrazai. I'll put that here. I don't really know how to pronounce that, but um, Super cute. Oh, I love the little tattoo on the hand. That's awesome. My cat is already <laughs> sniffing the box here, so hopefully she doesn't knock my camera over. She's about to. Um, okay, I've got a little witch casket sticker, which is perfect because I just got a new journal since mine is almost full, and I will probably slap this on the cover. And then let's see, a little bag of something, probably a spell kit. Yeah, Empowerment Elixir Kit. Includes everything you need to create your own magical empowering potion slash elixir. So let's see what we've got in here. Got some kind of herb that I'm sure will be named in the paper. Yeah, there's a little, oh, that's so cute on the back of it. It's precious. I'm gonna wait to read this until I pull everything else out. Let's see, some other herb. And some more. I think that, yep, yeah, that's it. So let's see, you will need meadow sweet basil pomegranate peel. So that's what these are. Um, water and full moon. Fill a glass, jar, or bottle with as much water as you need. Add into the water a teaspoon each of meadowsweet, basil, and pomegranate peel. As you add these ingredients, set your intent and put all your energy into empowering this elixir. Once mixed, place the elixir outside in the full moon or on a windowsill if you can't place it outside to soak up the magical lunar energy and absorb the magical properties of the herbs. If possible, leave this outside overnight. Strain and either use right away or decant into a bottle for future use. Has many uses, including anointing and empowering your magical tools, anointing candles, or as a pillow or room spray. Cool, awesome. Love that, I really like that the back is a print so that I can use this paper also for like artwork. So that's super cool. Ooh, pumpkin spice tea. Um, usually I open these to smell them, but these bags, once I open them, don't like close all the way because they're recyclable, which is awesome, but I don't want it spilling everywhere. So um, love that. I love that it's in an orange um, bag. Let's see, black tea, apple, orange, and rose hip pieces, hibiscus, calendula, and sunflower petals, cinnamon, natural flavors. And my cat <laughs> is knocking over my camera. It's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, God, so many things. Something, um, empowerment crystal set. Um, okay, it looks like it names the crystals here, so I don't want to look at that just yet. I want to open it up first. Um, ooh, it's stuck on my finger. There we go. <laughs> uh, all right. It's a nice bag, too. Ooh, okay. So this looks like Tiger's Eye, I'm assuming. And then... Got this one. Let's see if I can figure it out. 
aventurine yeah so i thought green aventurine got this little guy here um i think this is the leopard skin jasper two more This little, this one is harder to pick up in the camera because of the color. Um, silver leaf jasper, maybe. And then this guy, which I think is the multi-banded agate. Um, so yeah, that's that's what they're listed as here. Multi-banded agate, silver leaf jasper, leopard skin jasper, green aventurine, and tiger's eye. Um, I think I got those right as far as which one is which. Um, it doesn't like describe the coloring in them, just kind of what their uses are. But a quick Google search of any of them should give me that information. So that's fine. I can figure it out from there. Cool, that's so sweet, I love that. All right, let's see, got another sachet of something. I'm gonna not read the thing quite yet. I'm just pull it out and see what we get. Oh, cute. So I'm assuming it's like a heat proof thing. It's got this like kind of felt back um yeah pentacle altar tile i don't know if it's heat proof or not it feels like it might be but it's super cute and simple um feels really sturdy i love that yay all right let's see what else we've got um this is the pin for the month i can't read that backwards uh resting witch face perfect i will add that to my jacket um and they've all got this kind of backing which these tend to fall off of my jacket which is an i've lost a couple of the pins from witch casket because of this type of back um they just don't work so well with my jacket but that's fine so oh cute and it's got a little witch hat on it that is so perfect love it Let's see. um i've got some spell candles they are black I can open this. I don't know if I can without breaking a nail. Ooh. Maybe, maybe. <clears throat> so let's see, there's six of them. Awesome, yeah, just plain black spell candles. I love having the little ones too. Um, I think I've mentioned this before because then if I want to let it burn out, I don't have to wait as long <laughs> with these guys. So that's awesome. Yeah, just spell candles, yay. And of course black because Halloween, Samhain, all the things. Um, I don't know what this is. Looks like maybe it's a part of something bigger. So I'm going to keep this off to the side. Oh, yep. Another piece perhaps. Um, do these go together? Oh, yeah, they're like, it's like magnetic. Cool. I'll find out what that is in a second. Um, but just kind of clasps together like that. Um, let's see. Trick or treat vegan Belgian chocolate. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Um, in case you didn't know, the whole box, if I remember right, for which casket is vegan, which is super cool. Um, yay. And we've got Wizard's Spell Incense. Uh, I feel like I might have gotten this from them before. Um, actually, that sticker I showed you guys earlier, I had gotten a similar one from them a while ago, but I've also been subscribed to them for a while. So I'm okay with that. I've never had any repeat like big items, but for stickers and incense, like that's fine. Let's see. Ooh, this smells very strong. This is probably what I smelled when I opened the box. It's a really kind of like clean scent. Cool. 
It's very strong. Definitely, probably gonna open a window when I burn these. Um, I don't know if it's gonna say what is in them. Nope, just wizard's spell. Cool. So we've got some incense, a whole full pack, which I love, not just because it's more of them, but because it's so much easier to store and know what's what when it's in a nicely labeled box like this, if I can hold it right side up for you. Um, let's see. I have a little scroll which is going to tear because of the sticker, because it always does. Yeah, always, always tear on the paper, which is fine because I usually don't keep them. Let's see, witchy tips. Uh, wash the doorways to your home with warm water and a few drops of peppermint essential oil to give your home a fresh, fresh vibration and welcome abundance and luck. When stirring drinks, food, or brews, stir them clockwise to attract things and counterclockwise to banish things. Store any unused magical tools by wrapping them in black cloth. This will prevent them from absorbing unwanted energies while they're not in use. Burn white candles whenever you have guests to help cleanse and purify whatever energy they bring with them. Uh, some stuff about sigil magic that's long that I'm not going to get into. Um, selenite's great crystal for cleansing, etc. Use ginger in spells, rituals, charm bags for faster results. So some cool tips there. I don't subscribe to all of these, but... I love that they always include something informational um, for the people who want that kind of stuff. I think there's just a couple of things left. Yeah. Got keychain maybe? I see the words Hocus Pocus, which is my go-to Halloween movie, so that's great. Yeah, a little keychain. We got Hocus Pocus. It's just plastic. It looks like orange skull cat with a witch's hat. It's so cute. <laughs> All right, and then the last thing we've got is this bottle. It says Frog's Breath, which is awesome. Um, I guess if you wanted to make that elixir, you've got a bottle to put it in, which is cool. Yeah, it's just like a normal kind of cap. Um, yeah, sweet. Super, super cool. Um, yeah, it looks like that's it. Let me see if I can figure out what that little box is. Um, it just says black wooden altar box. So, um, I'm not too sure what I would put in it, to be honest. Um, because it's kind of like small and skinny and I just can't think of anything offhand that would fit, uh, especially because it's a little short too, but I'm sure I'll find some kind of use for it. So awesome, as usual, love this box, so good. Um, not really disappointed with anything at all. Uh, let's do a quick overview, um, keep it nice and short. So we've got our Frog's Breath glass bottle in which we could, if we wanted, make that elixir with these herbs that we have the instructions for. Got a sticker, that altar box, some beautiful prints, uh, including the one that's on the back of that empowerment elixir instruction sheet. So three prints really. Uh, some pumpkin spice tea, some beautiful crystals that I'm not going to take out here because I'll probably drop them. Alter tile, keychain, pin. Almost forgot the word for pin for a second. <laughs> um, vegan chocolate, incense, black spell candles, um, and info sheet with some witches tips. And that is the witch casket box for October. I knew it was gonna be my favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, don't really have anything bad to say. That's about it. Uh, love you guys so much. Sorry that the last couple of videos were super rushed and rambly and ranty. Um, that's it, uh, not gonna drag it out. I love you guys so, so much. Your support means the world to me and I will hopefully see you guys soon for my November bullet journal setup video if you watch that. Otherwise, I have a new box coming next month.
<laughs> so that'll be out soon, um, as well as some tarot decks that I have on the way. So keep an eye out for that if you want. Uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Mean it.